Hey, y'all. Uh, so the other night when I was trying to say that I didn't get the words right because I was just like really upset. And when I get upset, I tend to talk really fast and mix my words up. But what I was saying as far as um, the guy's goals, you know, exes and everything, I am not upset because you didn't want me. I was upset because you acted like you did. And that you filled my head up with lies and got my hopes all up into thinking we could be something great, that we could have something amazing, and this would be forever when you show me it wasn't. And this video was going out to my ass because it was unfinished business that I took care of, and it was unspoken feelings that I wanted to get out that I never got a chance to get out. And a part of me wanted to just stay quiet, but another part of me was like, if I don't say nothing, it will start eating me up. So to, yeah, so just to end off this five day rant, because I know I was making these videos for like three or four days straight, and this is the fifth day. Well, what I was trying to say is, and I'm getting it right, I am not mad at my ex for like for acting like he want like he didn't want me you could tell and i say this for a lot of people out here i'm saying this in general not just for my ads i'm not mad that you don't want me i'm mad that you acted like you wanted me i'm mad because you came into my life making me feel like you wanted me that i was the best thing you ever seen and the best woman that ever came into your life. The fact that you made it a habit to treat me like you did. Spoke to me like I was beneath you. It was disgusting. And even though your mouth said you wanted me. Your action says otherwise. And you know I'm big on action so I go by action. You might tell me every day when we was together that you love me, that you do care about me and my well-being, but your action says you couldn't stand me. Your action shows me other things, such as you don't even want to be in my presence, that you felt like I wasn't important enough for you, that I wasn't important enough to you to be a priority in your life. And it's worse that you didn't want to put me first because you feel like other things was more important to me. But yet you want to sit here and claim me as your wife. I'm not sure if you even spoke about me to anybody, but if you did, I'm sure it wasn't that good. But I'm not even worried about that. You telling anybody about me is the last thing I'm worrying about. But my biggest worry was, did you even feel what you say you felt for me? My biggest worry was, what did you really think about me as you was dating me? That's what I really want to know. And it was obvious that you felt like I wasn't important enough. And yet you was requesting so much of me. And I thought that was out of line. And what's more disgusting is the fact that you try to get me to get rid of my rules trying to get me to lower my standards and get rid of my plans because I told you I didn't want no kids because I told you that I, would, I refuse to go backwards. I'm moving forwards. And as far as me selling down goals and having kids, I was not planning on having kids no time soon. I said, give myself three to five years. I'm getting married first. I am a wife. God put me on this earth to be a wife, to be a home, a homemaker, to be a career woman as well. I make the home comfortable, safe, warm, and make it for what it is. I make sure my home is up to par. Okay. I am the makings of a wife, a beautiful black wife. I was not put on this earth to be somebody's floozy, second choice or even a, a side chick or whatever the case is. I was not putting this earth for anybody to use and abuse. 
and to manipulate and to downplay. I was put on this earth to be the best that he wants me to be. I'm talking about God. My grandmother raised me to be exactly what God wanted me to be. Nothing more, nothing less. And that was to be a straightforward, strong, kind-hearted, loving woman that is about her shit, that is about her career, about her life. I might love hard and I might have the, the sweetest personality in the world and yeah my heart is on my sleeve I don't give a damn and I'm not apologizing for it but that doesn't mean I'm a pushover that doesn't mean I'm an idiot and it doesn't mean that you could play me any type of way and you don't give me enough credit for being smart for being brave for being the stand up woman that is not about the bullshit that will put a nigga in his place any time and day when you look at me and you speak to me, you knew what type of woman I was. You knew that I was not the type to sit here and play around with somebody. You met somebody who was straight up real, someone who was authentic, wise beyond her years, and that could spot the bullshit from the realness. And I've been doing this for years. I am that one woman that peeps shit, that listen carefully, pay attention carefully. Okay? I'm not stupid. And yeah, like I said before, I am a star seed. I'm an empath. I go within deeps of the depths of my spiritual soul and I think everything over and think things through before I make my next move. And if I'm getting messages from God about what's going on around me, I'm going to bring it to your attention. And if you don't like it, oh well. But one thing about me, I am not going to shut up for nobody. You cannot pull the wool over my eyes because before you can even say anything, I'll be the first one to peep shit. And if you don't like the fact that I always call you out on your bullshit and make and held you accountable for anything, then you're not the right one for me. And I think you feel like I was playing around with you. So you thought, keep going on with your charades, but do it. Then when you see that I called you on your bluff, that I was serious about marriage and living a life with somebody, I you knew that's what that wasn't what you wanted. I don't understand why you even came to me with that same bullshit talking about you were looking for a wife. You wasn't looking for no wife. You was looking for someone to play with. You met me and you knew I was not the type to play around. So you went from, I can handle you. There's nothing that I can't handle. You're the type of woman I go for to realizing you couldn't handle me. When you realize I became too much for you, that's when you punked out and ran off. And you ran off like a little bitch with his tail between his legs. After you sat there flaunting your little wealth or your little whatever money you had, you try to flaunt off the fact that you this man, this little preacher man that you thought I needed, you try to flaunt off whatever you thought that would impress me. And it didn't. But the truth, it shall set you free. And I finally get to see the truth. And I am happy that I got to see the truth. And the truth was, you was a fraud. Okay? You wasn't even a real man for coming to me, coming into my life, trying to ruin everything I worked so hard for, trying to ruin my life. You trying to ruin me for the next man and trying to ruin my love for marriages and for anything, for the type of life I was going for. You're not doing it. I'm sorry, but I hate to tell you this. Your plan didn't work and it's never going to work. So when you come to me, come correct. And I say this to anybody out there. Anybody that's trying to come to me, hoping to be something to me, you better come correct and you better think things through before you get into my life. Because once you step into my life trying to be something, I hope you know what you're getting. Okay? This ain't no Mickey Mouse Clubhouse type shit. 
You're dealing with a real one, a real woman. Okay. I came from a long line of strong black women who knows what they want and get it. Okay. And we don't hesitate. 